What's up you guys, Josh Tonga here. Today I want to talk about how all things are possible to those who believe the Neville Goddard way. Because once you awaken and see beyond what your senses tell you, then by the end of this you'll literally have the ability to change any situation. And you can learn more about this from Neville's 1969 message called, All Things Are Possible. You see, the problem is that a lot of people tend to focus on what they see, what their senses tell them. For instance, you look at your bank account and you see that it's almost empty. Or you feel pain in your body, so it's inevitable that it's going to get worse over time with age. Or you heard some bad news on TV or online that got you believing that this world ain't going to get better. Whatever it is, unfortunately, some will say this is reality, but sorry, some of you are just screwed. Or you can consider Neville's question, and it's this. Are you willing to believe that you can go beyond what reason and what your senses dictate? Because here's the thing. If there's more to reality than this physical world, and if all things exist right now in the human imagination, the choice and its limitations are entirely up to you. And he talks about this time when, in his words, there was an eruption in the Christian world concerning the little icons people have made and have worshipped for over a thousand years. Where there was this one story that was printed in a newspaper about a famous actress who had an accident while she was in her Rolls Royce, and she got injured. But thankfully, it wasn't serious. And she attributed her luck to this little gold icon she had called St. Christopher, believing that it saved her from a fatal accident. And when Neville heard that, he was straight up and pulled no punches at all, dude, and said that nothing saved her but her belief in it. And why did she believe in her little gold icon? Well, here's the eye opener. According to Neville, it's because she doesn't know the one in whom she should trust. In other words, she's giving way too much power to this inanimate object. And Neville gets it, he knows that not everyone's going to accept this knowledge, including the Italian actress. In fact, he admits that there are hundreds of millions of people who wouldn't give up their little medals. And he said he even saw this one cardinal put his seal of approval on the reverse side of the little St. Christopher medal, giving it his blessing. And Neville's like, what nonsense, it's not necessary. And that these icons were created by man in his childlike state. Why? Because he couldn't believe in himself. Folks, the medals only work because people believe they do, plain and simple. Look, it's time for people to stop believing in something outside themselves, like these religious icons, or pretty much any physical object where you have some sort of dependency, whether it be a crystal, good luck charm, a cross, whatever. And he says it's time to start believing in the human imagination. Neville puts it like this, in this world, you got to go on the outside to light your way, like lighting a candle, using a lamp or electricity, but one day, he says, you'll turn within and discover that you are the light of the world. You are the light of infinite love and infinite power and infinite wisdom. He's essentially saying that you are God. And I know that'll trip up a lot of people where they'll be like, no, 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 I'm not God. But Neville says that you'll expand into these states as you break the barriers of reason and the senses. Because to him, there's no distinction. You and the God of the universe are one. Your awareness is God. God's name is I am. And God is your I amness. Believe in your I amness. God, as he likes to say, is your own wonderful human imagination. And with your imagination, all things exist. Remember, everything begins with the imagination first, and then it was believed into being. Like the building or the house you're in the clothes you're wearing, the car you drive, they were all first a desire before they became a fact. People don't just randomly stack brick after brick or start cutting a piece of cloth hoping that something's going to come out of it. Nah, dude, they imagined it first so they could execute it properly. So that's the thing. Many people are living their lives not imagining and designing their world. They just look at their reality and are like, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. But here's the thing. Yes, you can. So how do you not just accept the physical reality you're in and believe what reason or your senses tell you? Here's how. Ready? It's through faith. It's through faith. And what's faith? Neville defines it this way. Faith is a subjective appropriation of an objective fact. Let me say that again. Faith is a subjective appropriation of an objective fact. It's about knowing what you want and believing it in. How? By assuming your wish, listen, through the sense of feeling. Through the sense of feeling. 
Ask yourself, what would it feel like if you are now the person you want to be? What would you do? What would you say? How would you act? And when you assume and enter the state, you guys, that's faith. It's when you're no longer limited by what you're seeing in this physical reality. Instead, you're seeing through the eyes of faith. You're seeing the end from the beginning in your imagination. So because of your I amness, you can say, I am secure. I am wealthy. I am free. Go ahead and say, I am secure. I am wealthy. I am free. It may not look like it based upon your senses. However, Neville encourages you to say these words because as you do, you're subjectively appropriating security, wealth, and freedom. Again, reason will try to screw you over and say it ain't true. But he asks you to play a little game. He says to go through the door and walk as though you are secure, wealthy, and free. And when you go to bed tonight, sleep as though it were true. All things are possible to those who believe. Because if you're truly assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled, then trust me, you won't fall asleep seeing the world as you did last night. You know what I'm saying? You'll see it differently. It's like if someone gave you a check earlier today for $20,000 and you deposit it into your account, you'd be $20,000 richer, right? You wouldn't go to sleep tonight as you did before. So this is how it works. Without waiting for someone to physically give you the money, go to bed as though it were true. Assume the feeling that watch what happens. All things are possible to those who believe. Or another example he gives is this. Let's say you're in Los Angeles, you're in LA, which is where I'm from originally, and you wanna to go to San Francisco, which is several hours up north. Problem is, you don't got the money nor the time to make the trip, so what do you do? Your reason will say, come on, dude, be realistic. It ain't gonna happen. But through the eyes of faith, you can ignore the present moment and subjectively appropriate your objective hope by sleeping where? In San Francisco tonight. Now, how the heck do you do that? Check this out. As you lie in bed, you're going to look at the world through the eyes of one who's sleeping in San Francisco. No joke. Imagine it directionally. And even though you'll wake up in the morning and still find yourself physically in Los Angeles, you know what happened while you slept? Changes were taking place that'll compel you to make the journey for real. Neville says you'll always go physically to the subjective state that you've appropriated. You don't believe it? Try it. I've done this many times with places I wanted to speak at or vacation to. All things are possible to those who believe. And there was this one interesting morning Neville talks about when he was, in his words, returning to this world. And he saw these shadows of beings. The first one was blind and couldn't see the world around him. The second one could see, but his vision was limited. The third one saw more than the second. And the fourth one could see and hear and do more than the third. To cut the story short, Neville was able to identify himself with every shadowy being he'd seen in the sense that he found himself limited by the state perceived. In other words, we're all just playing a part, you guys, where we have different degrees of perception and awareness. But here's the thing, through faith, you could pick any part and enter it any time, straight up. But don't forget, in order to play the part you want, you gotta feel the part. You gotta feel it. There are no limits to this, folks. All right, real talk. Whether you realize it or not, right now, you are playing a part, okay? You're living in a particular state. Maybe you're playing the part of a person who's constantly struggling with money. Or you're playing a part of someone who, for some reason, is always getting sick. Or you're playing the part of someone who's in an unhealthy relationship. Whatever it is, based on what you see, things look bad, right? Based on what you see. But here's some good news for you. If you don't like the part you're playing, you can change it. You can change it. If you desire it, you can literally play the part of a person completely different than who you were 24 hours ago. It doesn't matter who you are, what your education is, your financial status, your social background. It doesn't stink and matter. Because if all things are possible to those who believe, then I want you to imagine now and see through the eyes of faith. See through the eyes of faith. Let me ask you. What do you want? I'm serious. What do you want? Ask yourself, what would it feel like if you're now the person you want to be? To be rich, to be healthy, to be in a loving relationship. What would you do? What would you say? How would you act? 
go outside of your senses and believe it in. Believe you already have it and then watch what happens. Look, this is how powerful your faith will be. Neville says that many men or women, I'm assuming, will come to aid you without them even knowing they're doing it. You don't got to persuade anybody. All you got to do is believe you already are what you want to be and then let the world, which is nothing more than yourself pushed out, go to work to make your assumption possible. How the heck will it all happen? I don't know. But I do know this, that according to your faith, be it unto you. And if you persist in your assumption, Neville says, it will harden into fact because you get what you believe. Yeah. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do me a favor, like and share it. Or if you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, help spread this message. And I'd love to hear your experiences or questions in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button or the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And don't forget to register for my free online training where I dive deeper into how you can start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.